Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing Jund Toolbox in Ranked Standard. This deck is super fun and really quite powerful. Um, yeah, it's sweet. So first off, in Jund, we have access to probably some of the best three drops in the game. We get Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Glissa Sunslayer for free. Those two by themselves can basically end games, so it's just very nice that we have those in this color combination. We, of course, also have access to the Harvester Fable combo, where you can copy it every turn, basically kill anything. That's a pretty hard lock against a lot of decks. And also access to some of the best removal in the game, Cut Down, Fulgid Surge, and Go for the Throat. So by itself, Jun just in the one, twos, and three drops slot is just really strong. But now we also have access to this funky top end that can really go over the top. Luka, Cruelty of Gix, and Titan of Industry. So Luka can come down on turn four or five. Often you just want to minus it. The plus ability is not super great in this deck configuration because granting red and green doesn't allow you to cast any of your black creatures. So you can't just plop down Luka, tap out, and then cast a Harvester because you need black. Same with the Underdog, and then same with the Trespasser or Sun Slayer unless the mana works out. So plusing, you're probably just going to minus right when it comes down. But then the next turn, on turn 5, you can potentially plus right into a Titan. Because if you have 5 lands and you plus on Luka to get 2 more mana, then you have 7 total just hard cast a Titan on turn 5. So that's one way Luka can work. And then of course later in the game, <laughs> I mean if you, if you can play a Luka in minus 4 and then uh, deal 7 damage because you have a 7 power Titan to a bunch of stuff, you probably just win that game. So... That part's fun. But then the Cruelty of Gix just turns it up a whole notch to another level. So phase one, look at the opponent's hand, take their creature or Planeswalker. Sometimes you can skip this depending on the opponent, but if they're a control deck with a lot of Wandering Eppers and Planeswalkers, or even just any creature deck where you, you want to take that next thing, uh, like a Sheldred, for example, it's pretty good to just go ahead and do phase one. Phase two is where it gets interesting. You can search your library for a card, put it into your hand. So you can, of course, go get Titan if you're ready to hard cast it, even either because you have enough lands at that point or you have the Luka ready to go. It's a plus. But then, of course, you can fetch all the fun things that make this deck awesome. Bosiju, immediately pick off Enchantment Artifacts. That's very useful in the mana base. Uh, Sheldred can be useful against some opponents if they're drawing a lot. You can just kind of pressure them that way into a win. Brotherhood End, just one sweeper in here that you can fetch. Three damage to each creature in Planeswalker. Very good against Soldiers. Very good against Mono Red. One Trespasser to take things out of your opponent's graveyard if they're also trying to reanimate. Uh, one Underdog, which can is a hasty threat in the deck. can come down with Blitz and good at taking out Planeswalkers. And then, of course, any removal you need. So... The toolbox of Cruelty of Gix is just so fun to play. And then lastly, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So if you cannot uh, hard gas Titan via lands plus Luka or just lands, most frequently you're probably going to bin it early in the game off of a Fable of the Mirror Breaker uh, cycle or a Harvester Blood Token cycle. You drop this in the graveyard, you can always get it back with four copies of Cruelty of Gix later in the game. So super sweet. Uh, enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. Man, pretty weird hand. It's almost keepable. We can always cycle away the Titan, but I think it's just not enough unless we can guarantee the second land drop on time. I think you mull this. Okay, this is better. I think put back one of our removal spells. I guess cut down hits slightly harder against two threes. Mono white, do nothing. Tap land. Cut down on two, Fable on three. Try to set up, just to go right into Cruelty. Azorius. All right, well, try the Bank Buster here. If they counter it, maybe Fable resolves next turn, which I'd be pretty happy with. Make the Spear, okay. Well, see if they're out of counter spells for next turn. Wedding Announcement. Means we get to resolve whatever we want here. So Fable it is. Up against Bant, though. What are people doing in Bant today? Oh my goodness. Top four cards land into the hand. Rest in the bottom, random order. If you didn't put a card into your hand, proliferate. Okay. Alright. Honestly, this card looks pretty playable. Three mana, three, three. Hit your land drops. Cool. That is a nice budget option right there. So we definitely, I think we're going to Cruelty this turn. We're not sure if they play Planeswalkers, but if they do, we want to take it. <sighs> Could maybe bin the cut down. Keep everyone else, I think. Fable this turn, Cruelty next turn, or Shelly this turn. Let's do it like this. Okay. Yeah, we can try Shelly here. We need the next land drop, though. Still, otherwise we start taking a beating quickly. Try Shelly, see if they have the removal. Looks like they do have something at instant speed. Could just be cycling the Rafine's Tower, though. Alright, no instant speed removal. See if they have sorcery speed or top deck it. Tap land for turn. 
binding it is. Everyone on that bant binding life today. Shelly goes down. Okay, they get to draw. It's not good. Brotherhood end. Brotherhood's end. I think it's Fable. Gotta hit land for cruelty. Okay, they continue to hit their land drops. No blocks here at all. Take a whole lot. Okay. Ossify. Probably take the Kiki Jiki. Take the token, actually. Okay. Okay. Definitely been the Titan. Try to top tech the land. Hit the cruelty. Kill the Leyline Binding. Okay. Do we need Brothers Hit End? What if this plan doesn't work? Doesn't kill the Vorak anyway. Alright, you're gone. Give me the untapped land. Nice. Okay. Give me the not the counter spill. Oh no. Oh, do you have the next make disappear? They don't. Alright, I think we're just skipping straight to uh, three here. Just go get the Titan back. Nice. Do we take the life at all? Shield counter is good, probably. Industry artifact or enchantment. Okay, let's kill the Leyline Binding. Cycle the tower. No mana left open. Shield counter resolves. That's pretty big. Put the shield counter on the Titan, I think. No attacks in case they have Wandering Emperor. Want to get that first copy off. Okay, big turn for us. Leyline Binding can get rid of the Titan, but... Barring that, it will survive sweepers and other forms of targeted removal. Doesn't survive late on arms, but it's pretty high on the mana cost. Go for the throat. Definitely just want to copy the Titan here. We could even Cruelty of Gix and go fetch a land, but that's kind of dumb. So, let's just do it like this. Copy the Titan. All right, so they have the binding. We could double go for the throat it just so we can cruelty of Gix it back next turn. Is that absurd? I think that's pretty absurd. I think I'd rather kill uh, the Vorak here instead. Okay, goodbye Titan. Yep, you're you're gone. I definitely do want to kill the Vorak. It doesn't have to be on our turn. We don't have to attack with Shelly either. Let's just burn one go for the throat on their turn. No attacks. In here. Cycle you. Yeah. This is a fine time to kill it as any. Then we don't have to fight with counter spells. Okay. Alright. Down to 12 opponent. We're flipping the script slowly. Wandering Emperor. Kill the first Kiki Jiki. Okay, dead. Yeah, we'll pick off a blocker here. Okay. Cut down gets rid of the last one. I think we go get Bosiju, kill the Binding, get back the Titan. We can take a look at the hand first. Now let's start here. Alright, show me what you got. Opponent has a land, okay. Fine. We want to keep the reflection around for next turn. Did we already play Bosiju, right? No, I don't think we did. For any card, yeah. Okay, they take the chump. Cycle the land now, it's fine. Down to 12. They can't minus two the Emperor yet, unless they top tech another Emperor. But regardless, we get the Bosiju, pick off the Binding, get back the Titan, copy it. Swing for a lot of damage. Oh no, they have the next Emperor. They have a Bank Buster here. Huh. Leyline Binding again, okay. Who are they taking though? Kikijiki or Sheldred? 
Oh, they take they take the gicks. Oh, you 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 asshole. <laughs> okay, well done. Still, we're not doing awful here. Swing with a four or five. They can power up the four four bank buster. That's okay. But they do get to draw off the bank buster every turn. Oh, it's a five five. I forgot. It's okay. I forgot. Okay. That was a mistake. I forgot it's a 5-5. Five, five. Hold the land to cycle, I think. That was a mistake. They'd be down to 8 now. That doesn't feel good. Swing for 3 with Vigilance. Nothing we can do about that. Look in the top deck. Something juicy here. Down to 12. Oh, we threw it away. That's great. Alright. Back in it. Copy you. Blood token. Kill you. Cycle one of these guys. Okay. Not bad. That's all for this turn. Probably cycle the cut down as well. See what they do here. Okay, you're finally dead. Sure. Okay, we'll cycle away cut down then. Keep drawing. Ugh, we threw away the Shelly. What a mistake. Titan, we can't hard cast it. Not yet. Swing for three. No stick. Alright, next harvester. We actually do have triple green. So we just need a land. <laughs> Everyone's cycling. Okay. Ugh, Shelly would be so much better here. We'd have gotten all that life off the blood token cycles too. I guess they would have laid down arms it pretty soon after, but still, then we'd have the Kiki Jiki. Yeah, that was a huge mistake. Okay, goodbye. Top tech the land. No, but pretty close. We can still go get Busiju here. We just can't cast it this turn. Okay, so we might as well start with phase one then. I guess if we start with phase two... Hold on. Yeah, we get back Shelly quicker. Is there any chance they have the Wandering Emperor anyway? I mean, there's always a chance. But they played it out last turn? What did they do last turn? They just cycled stuff? I think let's just skip to phase two. Get Bosiju, get back Shelly next turn. Just speed it up. Yeah, I think Luke, I think uh, Besiege is the best play here. It's the cheapest way to get back a Titan. Okay, swing here. Down to four. Manual taps, leaving open white. No. Is it a Traxa? Oh my god, I swear. If you attract me right now, I'm going to be so mad. I guess we would pick off the the binding, get back the Gix, go fetch something to kill Atraxa. Land first. Okay, what's that last card here? It is Atraxa! It is! Oh my goodness. Okay. Fine. Let's see if they can get a lay down arms here. Make disappear counterspell. Leyline binding is very annoying. Still, I think we could be okay here. We pick off the first binding, get back the Titan. Destroy the other binding as well. Get back the Gix. Then get something to kill Atraxa. Is there any way to sneak through one more point of damage this turn? They're only going to have one laid on arms here. And they can't even... They already played land for turn. Alright, we're not done with you yet. Top tech the land as well. I think it's Sheldred here. I think that gets us to lethal. Again. Proceed you here. Pick off this binding. Get back Titan. Oh, they get a land here. So they actually have a counter now, which is interesting. But we'll take the Rhino and destroy the artifact. Destroy you. This is the one that matters. But now they, they can negate? But now they can negate? Oh! Creature or Planeswalker. Is there anything in our deck that can...
We could attack with the harvester. How do we get through the gates? Graveyard Trespasser does an extra damage. They have the next Atraxa though. I don't know. I guess we get the Trespasser. Maybe Glissa to draw? Okay, let's take Glissa. They have the negate. Oh my god. Okay. Obviously no attacks into the lifelinker. We can play out Glissa though. But we can't get through the negates. The one of negates. Oh my god. No attacks. 28 cards left. I really thought this game would be over by now. What do we get back off the last cruelty? I mean, we can always block with the Titan. And then get it back. Okay. Dropped to two, but... Couldn't think of a way to get them to zero. Through the freaking negate. Oh, if only we had kept Shelly like 30 turns earlier. So we might as well block, because we get it back for free with Cruelty anyway. <sighs> Up 10. But they can take the Cruelty of Gix now again too. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, we we effed it so hard. We effed it so hard. We had it. We effed it. They take the uh, they take the cruelty of Gix again. Oh, we screwed it so bad. Oh, what a travesty. This is so sad. The one of negate, man. Not that I can blame anyone but myself for that loss. So, oh, we get to resolve this again, I guess. Okay. Can also attack for free with the children, which is interesting. I think Artifact, Enchantment, and Rhino. Pick off Leyline Binding again. We can take the Atraxa now, though. That's not bad. Okay, you're gone. Alright. And again, we can get in for free with the Shelter, because it has Death Touch. They don't want to block that. Okay, is there a chance? They have Negate and a land. They take the block? Right? What? Why? Okay. They're up to 18 with a negate, a land, and a top deck. They throw away a tractor for that? Oh my god. Oh, what a game. Oh, the misplay with the Shelly into the bank buster, but... Whew. That was a nightmare, man. That was a nightmare. Good game. On the play with some removal? Man, I guess is okay. I don't know. Let's see if it's mono-red. Okay. I guess we can start with... Doesn't really matter how we start. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Azorius, alright, well. Unless it's soldiers, we do not have the optimal hand against that. But hey, we hit a 3-drop, which is huge. If they don't make, make the spirit, then we're really moving. Okay. I mean, I think we go for it here. Nice. And they don't kill the 2-2 immediately. That feels quite good. Third land, Sunset Revelry. Okay. Lay down arms. Okay, so we can't Cruelty of Gix this turn. I think we drop off a go for the throat. I mean, this is heavy control. I don't know if we need any creature removal at all. Could drop off both of these, honestly. We like the lands. I think we are. Right? What does Azorius control run? That's a creature that we need to answer. Like, not that much. This is weird, but I think this is the right call here. Been our precious removal. Okay, we could drop Luca here. I think we're going to try Fable instead. Because I think what we really want to do is just chain Cruelty of Gix against them. And just take all their Wandering Emperors each turn. So if we go with Luca, we're more set up to draw into the um, Titan. And then cast it organically off the Luca Plus. But I think we just want to spam Cruelty of Gix for a couple turns. Okay, do nothing. So this is a Wandering Emperor turn. If we play Gix now, we can just take it beforehand. Force them to cast it. Pretty happy with everything here, actually. I think this is a submit zero turn. Unless we want to intentionally dump a creature just so we can guarantee we get something back with Cruelty of Gix. It's actually not a bad plan. Okay, let's dump the Glissa, because I don't know if it's going to fit into our curve. 
And it guarantees we have something to get back with Cruelty of Gix for free at some point. Start here. Let's force the matter. Okay, submit one. So you have the Emperor. They flash in the Emperor now. Is there another Emperor to take? Nope. Urza assembles the Titan. So they do have lots of Planeswalkers to take. Just not in hand right now. Okay, attacking is no good unless you really want the treasure. It's weird because we have to play around depopulate. I think we do take this attack. Because <clears throat> they can depopulate anyway. Um, they'll probably use lay down arms on the reflection. They just give plus one for a strike here. This means we could fetch the Titan this turn and play it. We could also go fetch um, Brotherhood End, which would sweep everything. Double block instead. That's pretty weird. Do they plus the Emperor yet? I guess they're concerned we actually have Voltage Surge or something, which we could, but we don't. Okay, let's see if they minus or plus the Emperor this turn. Okay, they plus. So it's out of Brotherhood End range. Then that means they're probably going to Urza here. So we can go get the next Cruelty of Gix. Three to the top, one to the bottom. Okay. They do reveal the Planeswalker. Okay. Again, I think we just keep chaining Cruelty of Gixis here. And just combat their Assemble the Titans. Okay. Sure, Smit one. Take the Jace. Ooh, they have Teferi as well. Who's more important? Teferi's annoying. I think we take the Teferi here. I think that's it for this turn. And we can use the reflection to make a bunch of copies of reflections this turn. So they get their chase for free. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's just make a copy here. Could make a second copy, but I think we want the treasure. More land. I think we keep getting Cruelty of Gixes. Eventually we want a Titan. I think we want to play Luka this turn and set up to play Titan and make a bunch of copies of Titans and just win with Trample in one turn. Okay, we get a Glissa for free here, which isn't bad. Yes, yeah, so we either get the Glissa or the <coughs> or the Titan here. Or the next cruelty. I think we want to set up to Titan though. So let's go ahead and try that. And I want to try to play you. I think we can play you for cheap, actually. Okay, auto pay. fine to burn a go for the throat here so let's just attack like this we don't care too much about either of these i don't want to get in a point where we can get milled out though so we'll do it like this okay and let's take out the three three okay they eat the damage <clears throat> play out you tapped Either plus or minus you. I think we'll take the minus here. Because we don't need the mana anyway this turn. Okay, that's it. Alright, double planeswalker action. Let's see what you got. They did nothing though, they had something, right? And they scoop. Man, I was really looking forward to that. I was, uh,. Curious to see if we could sneak through Titan, copy it several times, and swing for lethal. Um, wasn't sure what they had in hand. Too bad. That could have been a cool game. On the play, no two drops, but 
Glissa and Fable and Gix and Titan. We're going for it. Okay, long delay there. We'll edit that out and try land on one. Rizov, okay, still no two drop for us. Oh, laggy, super laggy. It's very weird. Tainted adversary, huh? I mean, Fable gets us right to our Titan play, right? So, as much as I love Glissa, probably go Fable here. Cut down, all right. No treasure for us. E2. A lot of cruelty of Gix. Been a Titan. Been a cruelty, I suppose. As fun as it is to chain them. Just try to hit land on time. <coughs> okay. Start here. Probably Glissa, because again, we just want to hit that next land of cruelty on time. So Glissa it is. Two men open. Nothing, though. You know the third path. Main phase, looking for that land. They don't hit it. Alright, we don't hit our land either, though. Let's see if they give us the draw here. First strike, death touch. No blocks. Alright, give me the draw. Give me the land. Draw a card, lose a life. Not a land. Come on, deck. Alright. Welp, uh, we can play you out and plus immediately and also play the harvester this turn which isn't bad okay oh do we not have what are we missing my bad it's for um there we go oh only red and green actually ah shoot <laughs> my bad uh that does not make uh black for either of these guys that's okay make a toxic creature instead Farmhand, okay. Well, gotta wonder if they have sweepers. Yeah, we'll defend that with our 3 3. No problem. Death touch, dead. No land. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think we attack with Glissa here. We could also play the Harvester, copy up minus the farmhand, so we guarantee we get in with the Glissa. I don't hate that. We don't need the extra mana off the of Luka this turn. So we can probably just start here. No stick at all. Copy you. With haste. Pick off the farmhand just so we guarantee the Glissa hit. Okay, two combat here. Swing for three. Give me my draw. Alright, finally hit the next land. So we can cruelty next turn. I'm not sure we overcommit to this board. I think it's likely they sweep. So we can just hold underdog here. We can even plus the Luka. I mean, our board state is massive right now. <clears throat> so let's just hang out for a minute. See if they sweep. If not, we have a massive turn off the Cruelty of Gix um, into Titan. Yep, there's the sweeper as we suspected. Okay. We do get to draw off the multicolored creature. Anything we want to cycle? Chaining Cruelty of Gix isn't bad. No rush inherently. Okay. I think we start with a Cruelty and just start attacking the hand here. Phase 1 is fine. Alright, let's see what you got. Any Planeswalkers? Soren and Edgar. I think we get rid of Edgar here. We don't have a great way to exile him. They do have Right of Oblivion as well. Interesting. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to get through. <laughs> and we plus with the Luka then we can play you out and also get an underdog down okay they don't play Soren, so we can take it with the next cruelty here they ride of oblivion just to get rid of the cruelty it's a lot of resources down they don't have enough mana to run it all back next turn, though. I think we'll continue to make mana here. Oh, it's only for creatures. 
My bad. Okay. Still. <clears throat> Go ahead and get the Soren. Okay, Soren down. They have to depopulate as well. We don't need to play Glisten to depopulate. Yeah, that was a strong start for us for sure. Just a lot of annoying Jund value there. We can try this a little bit slow. Let's see if it's mono red. It's not, it's soldiers. So we do run one copy of Brotherhood End just to sweep up soldiers. So we might fetch that with Cruelty of Gix this game. All right. And Thalia, okay. It's actually not great for us. Might have to pick that off with the Harvester. Play you out. Yeah, that's a big tax for us. Probably have to kill it with the Harvester and hope we hit a three drop on time. Just Thalia, no blocks. Question is, do we pick it off this turn or wait so they can't redeploy a second Thalia? Denik, okay. Another frontliner. Well, I think we cycle a Luca here, likely. And I think we're picking off Thalia. Let's see if we can get a playable. Could cycle the Titan. We're actually so far from that. Let's get rid of the Titan. Maybe we'll need both Lucas. Okay, a playable. Very nice here. Also allows us to pick off Thalia, which I guess we'll go ahead and do now. Get some free damage anyway. <clears throat> okay. All right. <clears throat> Everyone gets in there. I think we might just eat this thing. Take five here. Down to 11. Get to Luke and make a 3 3 blocker. Another frontliner. Getting low on life total. We need the Cruelty of Gix to pop off and get the Titan back. Probably go Life Rhino. Although not being the target of spells or abilities is actually an issue. So we need to also kill the Denik here. Hmm. It's Luka this turn though. Maybe we can Luka next turn and pick off Denik that way. <laughs> this guy's so aggressive. I'm the ultimate weapon. No attacks. <clears throat> okay, so maybe next turn is play Luca for five, minus four, pick off Denik and someone else. Next turn, Cruelty of Gix, get back the um Odor bounce my token, that's annoying. So they trade the Denik off, then we can pull it off without um needing anything else. Okay, they go there. Let's see where they put the plus ones. We just care about getting rid of Denik. Okay, they pump it up so it's too big. So we lose um, Luca, but that's okay. Take the free block here. Go for the throat. Okay. Still, I think full price Luca is okay. Thing is, then they attack it down with the frontliners, right? So in that case, maybe we just um, go for the throat this turn instead. No attacks in here. Because Luca just dies to the pair of 1 1s coming in with haste. Here they come. I think we're okay if they replay the Denik. Yep. So we'll take this block. And then I think we do pick off Denik here. And we hope they don't have backup Denik. That'd be really annoying. That'd be one reason to wait all the way to end step. But they only run 1 to 2 of those in that deck. So if they do have it, we'll be sad. They don't. Great. And that can even be picked off with the Harvester, but we don't need to. Because we have Cruelty of Gix. Yep. Let's just go ahead and read ahead. Grab the Titan of Industry. This thing is not anything special. Legendary creature, yeah. So we'll definitely take the life. And then we'll take the Rhino. You gain life. Okay. If we play this, we can cycle the land this turn. I think we just pick off the Denik here. We should be okay from this standpoint. 
All right. And here. We have a 7-7 against soldiers. And we're up to 14. That's a pretty good place for us to be in. They keep going, though. And we can Luka this turn. Oh, yeah. It's game over. Should be about game over. Cycle the land. Okay. Yeah, we'll just minus four here. It's okay. Yeah, target you. Yeah, scoop. Let's go, Jun. Taking on Azoria soldiers. Feels good. Alright, thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, comment, and a subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.